So hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you are joining me live now or you are catching me on the replay. Really excited to have you here. Today we are doing a Canva tutorial, um, pending that everything goes well. So Canva has been a little bit glitchy today, of course, the day that I decide to do a live stream. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to see if I can get this all to work for you. So what we will be looking at today is how we can use Canva to remove the background on an image. And this is a feature in Canva Pro, so the paid version of Canva. But if you only have the free version, check out the link in the description because um, I've got some gift codes in there. So, um, and I've also got a link to Canva Pro that you can use as a free trial. So make sure you check that out. So if you want to, you know, try it out, see what the pro version is like, do all of your background removals, <laughs> removals using the pro version during the free trial. That's something I definitely recommend. So make sure you check out the description for links to a free trial of the pro version, um, some gift codes, and I'll also put timestamps and references to anything that I mentioned in the live stream. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen, and I help awesome entrepreneurs build and grow their business, impact and income using video on social media. I'm really excited to do this live stream and we are going to go right into Canva and get right into it in the prayer that nothing crashes, everything goes according to plan. So let's start the live stream now. Okay, just sharing my screen now and I can see that you can see the screen as well. So we are now in Canva. If you don't know how to use Canva, if you don't know how to set up an account, I've got a tutorial on how to use Canva and it walks you through setting up the account and then a walkthrough of how to use um, all of the things or the basic things in Cam Canva. Now to do a background removal, you essentially can create any image, any type of image, whether it's a presentation or a custom image, you don't have to use an existing template. You can remove the background from an existing design that you have. All you need to do is have an image that you want to remove the background of. So whether you choose to, oh, let me view whether you choose to upload your own image in the upload section here or whether you choose to use one of Canva's um, photos and remove the background there. Uh, I'm going to show you just a couple of examples of exactly how it works. And um, so here is one image that I have uploaded. And in order to remove the background, you will need to upload the image. You will need to select the image. So I've got the image on the left selected. Once I've selected the image, in the top corner here, you can see effects. So select that, and then you can see background remover appear. And then with one click, it's going to work its magic, please, please work me Canva while I'm live. And it's going to remove the background on the image. So just give it a couple of minutes. And while you are watching the background removal action happen, a couple of tips with what works best for background removal. I find that it works be best when you're working with a high res image. So if the picture is really low res and pixelated, it doesn't do an amazing job of removing the image from the background. So the higher res that you can get, the better. And this is finished now. And you can see on the left, we have background removal of me. And the right here is the original image. So that looks pretty good. You know, they've done a pretty good job. And, um, you know, I'm going to crop this a little bit so you can zoom and see the detail. And it's like, I like that. See, they've even gotten all the little bits through my hair. And, you know, I think that looks pretty good. So it's a really great way of allowing you to you know, layer your images, whether you're creating YouTube thumbnails, whether you're creating blog post images and you're adding yourself in, taking that selfie and then being able to have some flexibility with the design of adding your image into it. So that works pretty well, pretty excited. Um, and that's just the first example. I'm going to go through a few examples. So if you're taking images of yourself, um, this is one way of doing it. So now this is an image that, um, this was a selfie that I took of myself. And this is what I mean 
uh, as an example of how it can sometimes not be as perfect and clean as that first example. So I've uploaded this image and this was a selfie I took with my iPhone and it was just using the front camera. So it's not the best image in terms of, um, you know, the high res nature of the image, but I've selected it. I'm going to go to effects again to remove the background, select background remover. And I'm going to move myself out of the way and let it do its thing. Oh, so Canva's, uh, this is what I mean, see? It's a little bit buggy today. Um, and so that didn't work quite well, but that's okay. There you go. It's working again, Canva. And this is what I mean by it's not, um, perfect but it's pretty good so you can see or I can see anyway that they've done a good job of removing me from the background but it's a little bit not as clear as so I can see like it's not done as great as a job as this other image of you know the intricate removal of all of the image pixels in my hair and here it's like ah uh, that's not great but I do think that's because it was a lower res image whereas this one I took with the DSLR camera this one I just I took with the front facing camera on my phone um, and yeah that's how that one works so Removing background images is also great whether you are removing it from photos of yourself or you're doing product images. So I'm going to do another example here. So I selected the image. I'm going to go to effects and background remover and pray that it works because as we saw during the live stream, it crashed a little on me. Um, you know, it's just it's just a strange thing that's happening at the moment with everyone being online and everyone working from home. Technology seems to be a bit strange these days. But I really love this because it does, it saves you so much time um, and like you don't have to go in and figure out how to do it on Photoshop. Um, so that's super cool. So that's what it looks like there as another example. And I also love using it to remove the background on product photos. So this is an example of the Rode, this one, the Rode um, Video Mic Me L. And this is a photo of it with a white background. And it's like, mm, I want to be able to use it without it. So let's go again. We're going to go to effects and background removal. And with a couple of clicks, ta-da, there you go. It's working. Yay. So now I've got this image and then um, the background's removed. So it looks so much better when I add it to layers in my thumbnails or my images. And that's that's the side by side comparison. Um, now, as I said, it's not always perfect. So sometimes they crop out too much. Sometimes they crop out not enough. So this was one. So this is a let's try, let's see what happens when we do this one. And I think that even though it's not perfect, um, you're still able to remove the background faster using Canva and their background remover option than attempting to even do it in Photoshop. So um, as you can see, so this is an example of it not being perfect on a few fronts. So it's um, the paper here, as you can see, it's cut out the paper and it's also not cut out the paper. Um, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see there's still the white within the flowers, but then it's cut out the brown of the paper bag. So it's not perfect, but you can still use it. You know, you can still use elements of it. It's done a great job cutting out the macarons, but um, yeah, so just be aware that it's not 100% going to be perfect every single time, but for the most part, as you can see, it's, it's pretty damn good. And it works particularly well when you've got um, high res images. And I just think, you know, all you have to do is go to effects, We'll upload the image, go to effects and background remover, and it works amazingly. So this I think is the last, no, I've got two more examples um, before we uh, wrap this up. There you go. So this is another example of, you know, they've done a pretty good job. And as you can see on the left-hand side here, they've gotten between her arms and they've gotten all around it, but then they've cropped out like, probably because the color was a little bit too close, um, a bit of her body here, but you can still, you know, um, edit it, 
crop the image so you can still use that image and it's still it's still pretty good so you don't have the ability if they have cropped it to adjust the image like you would in photoshop so you can't adjust the tolerance and you can't like go in and patch images like i can't just color select and you know remove that manually um you don't have that flexibility but for the most part um you know it does a really good job so oh two more examples so this one uh, you know, there's so many applications that you can use with removing the background product images, photo images, whether you are taking images that you want to create a flat lay of, that you want to layer. Um, this is another possibility. Um, we've got balloons here and look how beautiful that is. That's cropped really, really well. And then the last one, this is my friend's dog, Toby. So we're going to crop Toby out. So we've selected it, background remover. And we're going to let uh, Toby come alive and come away from the background. Once again, pending that all systems are working. And here we go. There you go. And look at that. Look at that crop. That's pretty good. And then I can then add Toby to whatever marketing and materials that I want without the background. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good crop. So that essentially wraps it up. Uploading image, well, removing the background from images, whether that is, let's go back to me now, whether that is removing it from product images, whether it's removing it from personal images of yourself, um, really quick and easy way that you can, I guess, um, extend the leverage of photos that you have and then incorporate them into more designs. So that um, wraps us up and... Shannon says, that's amazing. Love it. It would take me so much time on Photoshop. I hear you, Shannon. I am the same. I'm not very fast at Photoshop um, these days because I'm a bit rusty with it. But this is just a couple of clicks. Upload your image, um, select the image, and then apply that filter. So that makes it super, super easy. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you're looking for more ways to grow your business, make sure you check out my social media checklist. It's a super simple guide that helps you get up and running on all the social media networks so that now that you have the tool that allows you to create more images and remove backgrounds, you can post more on social media. And I show you how to do that in my social media checklist. So I'll put the link in the description and on the screen somewhere. And I hope that you found this tutorial useful and I'll see you on the next live stream. Bye for now.